Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing this very quick and easy everyday glam look. However, it wasn't quick and easy because in the process of filming, filming this video, my camera fell off my table and the lens fell off and broke. Well, the lens went bent and so the camera can't recognize the lens and that's it, rest in peace, amen. I'm gonna have to buy a new one, that's fine though. I have said, it's a material thing, it's fine. Today I'm doing this little get ready with me. It's a very, very short tutorial, just using all Inglot products, obviously, um, and just what I use kind of day to day. So if you have any questions or you um, have any requests for like next, my next few videos or whatever, you can leave a little comment below for me. And um, please do like and subscribe this video. I'll be so appreciative of it because I appreciate it appreciative of it and um, follow me and Inga on all of our handles I will leave them all below um, and yeah I hope you enjoy and get some little tips and tricks for my skin the Inga HD pink primer and just buff that in by the way if you see like an extension popping out here I, I do apologize I need to get them refitted badly I have quite dry skin dry dehydrated so this is just really really good for like adding that nourishment and hydration that i need i'm gonna move on to skin straight away i'm going to take i've got a fresh layer of tan on which needs to come off um, a mixture of 77 and 78 foundation i take that on my 38ss and just pop that all, all over it okay so it's quite dark but I am going to pop some concealer on, which brightens it up. So I'm gonna take some all covered concealer from Inga in the shade 12. And I'm going to take my 4SS brush my, and just blend this in. So this is just literally my everyday. If I was going like to see my friends or going for like a lunch or, you know, some a dinner that wasn't like really that dressy this is what i would wear i do like quite a bright under eye because i like to look like i've got some cheekbones and some you know definition to my face i tend to go maybe four or five shades lighter for my under eye um and then that kind of like evens it out if you do feel like your foundation's like a little bit um darker then this does brighten it up and i've got a nosebleed Guys, if anybody gets nosebleeds, I'm 24 and I'm 25. I've gone this long when I get nosebleeds and then I just started getting them when I was like 22. It's so annoying. And just paint back on the foundation that you lost from your nosebleed. So irritating. Okay, moving on after that minor disturbance. Um, disruptance? Disturbance? I don't know. So I'm going to take this palette, I'm going to use 503 Skull 403 HD powder and this is just to go on my under eye. 403 powder has like HD particles which brighten. So again this is just going to brighten. I always use like a different powder from my under eye to the rest of my skin because I mean I'm putting a different colour concealer there so if I was to go in with the same face powder it's just going to darken it and I still want it bright so. That's my logic. Once that effect should do the same. And this is like the best powder I've ever used for under eye. I know I'm mixing. The 403 is more more so to stop creasing. Uh, sorry, the four, the 503 is to stop, scre stop creasing. You can pop a little bit just in the other areas that you've highlighted as well. Okay, so now I'm going to take some 15 powder. This is just the loose powder. I'm going to pop this on all over just to set the rest of the skin. And I'm using a 15 BJF for this one. So this is just going to set your foundation, stop any oiliness coming through. It, I will say it's more of a matte powder, but then I do bring my highlight back in with it. It's just, it for me, it works really well with like the products that I use and um, it helps to keep my foundation on all day. And now I'm going to take the JLo bronzer in in sun kissed i 
So this one's just more of a natural bronze and then I'm going to go in with a contour. I say natural, like it's probably nobody else's natural, but like for me, I like to be bronze to the gods. So yeah, it's pretty natural for me. So all around the forehead, this just kind of gives like a more sun-kissed look. Funnily enough, sun-kissed. And under the cheekbones. And then I always just do a little bit just down my nose now. Just to add like a little bit of colour to the centre of my skin. And I'm going to take this little palette and these are the colours that I'm going to be mainly using today. So it's this palette, it's a JLo one. We've got my Sculpt and then three little colours that I'm going to use on my eyes as well. So take my Sculpt. I'm going to sculpt out my jawline. No, my, well my jawline as well. But my cheekbone and my jawline. What I like about this sculpt is it's more of like a bronzy warm tone than like a cool, cool tone kind of a grey kind of a contour. It's more of like a warm it's bronzer. So now I'm going to take the new, one of the new blushers. This one is number 12. Looks like this, kind of a peachy. Can I actually just clarify that my nails, I'm trying to give them a two week break so that they don't like they're, I went and got them taken off to get a fresh set and I said, you know what, I'm not putting on another pair of acrylics because there was actual like five proper dents in my nails, like each of my nail beds because they've filed them down too far with the, um, with the, their electric nail file. Like they, they just don't care about them basically. They just want to get you in and get you out. So I found a new nail technician, which I want to go to, but I am going to give my nails a little bit of a break. This is literally just the end of week one, so. The blush is just going then on the apples of the cheeks and just blending up. And this blush has like a little bit of a sheen as well, so you get that really healthy glow when you have it. Literally see the sheen. Speaking of which, we're going to do highlight now. Zero Two Sparkling Dust. Apply. But make sure you're topping off the excess because it is so pigmented. So for the eyes, I'm going to take this color here, which is called Pearl. This is like a matte cream color and it's got little bits of gold glitter through it. It's so gorgeous. So I'm actually going to take a little bit of my um, Zero Two Sparkling Dust on a tennis. Make sure that that's all really highlighted. This one, which is called Sienna, and I'm just going to take my 46SS. It's like a blending brush. It's not really tapered. It's more fluffy. And just blend this into the crease. I like quite freely with how I'm applying it. Just like want to create a nice crease color and like a bit of definition. And just a little bit underneath as well, just to give a little bit more of definition. I'm actually currently doing a TikTok as well. Um, it's like you have to like film your... Yeah, it's like... Obviously you have to redo clips and stuff like that, but basically Basically, um, a good word of advice, if anyone is doing TikTok for like makeup purposes or whatever, like I said, probably the best app I have at the minute, it's just so addictive. Um, but if you are doing TikTok and you wanna do makeup looks, like you're better off like doing drafts. So uh, basically you film your first clip as a, as a graph, a draft and it could be literally just like you without makeup on or you would just like skin on like me today. And then as you're like, doing step by step, but you do have to plan them, like you have to figure out what music you want, what way the video is gonna go, you have to kind of cut your clips to the beat of the music so that it's more like, okay, I have not been told this, this is what I've kind of gathered, like if you want it to be aesthetically pleasing and for people to enjoy your videos, I feel like you need to cut your, uh, your, your like clips where the music kind of like the beat will drop, so like, yeah. I don't know, if you follow me on TikTok, you'll be able to see. And I also I have a competition over my TikTok for anybody that wants to take part. You can win everything that I use in the look. 
yeah anyway so that was sienna that i had and i will just show you i'm gonna film the next segment of my yeah so just take a little bit of time i know i've already done this bit but Okay, so I've just had a nightmare. I've just broke my camera. But anyways, let's not talk about that. The lens came clean off, bent, and yeah, not ideal. So I'm filming on my camera now and it's probably gonna be a lot worse quality. But what I've done is, because I've literally taken so long, I've gone ahead and just lined the top of my lashes with this color here. So that is 305 and I've literally just gone along the top of my lashes like this. And just kind of stamped down with like a flat brush. This one is a 9S. So then I'm just going to take a slightly smaller brush. This is a well-loved 6SS. And this one is just going to be used to just buff out the sides. And to just blend that in, sis. I can't believe I broke my camera. It fell backwards and landed on the actual lens. Which meant that Holly, camera, is no more. I had a bit of a breakdown. No point in stressing over material things. Like I do always tell myself this, like I will be able to buy a new one. It's not the end of the world. Like it's a camera lens. Do you know what I mean? I can sort it out next week. Can't wait to spend that. No, it's, it's fine. Look, it would have been spent on a night out and a meal anyway. So you just have to put everything into perspective, you know? So now I'm gonna stick on these lashes, 94 ends. Okay, so I've gone ahead and popped on these lashes so the so 94 ends they look like this and i've gone ahead and popped my lip on so i've used a54 lip liner and one of our new lip glosses esper this one here so it literally is amazing it's like translucent kind of with like reflective like pink gold rose gold it's just so nice and it's also volumizing Gone ahead and done that, and I pretty much think that's everything that I need to be doing. Yeah, that's the look. So, um, it's kind of annoying that I don't have my camera because I won't lie, I've got a skin smoother on there, and I'm a little bit worried that this is gonna look dreadful. I've got very textured skin, I won't lie, I would never hide that I do use a skin smoother, um, and it just looks a lot better the quality, but. Yeah, this is the look. I will have a TikTok, TikTok up. I really do apologize for my hands again. Um, I do apologize for my hair. I need to get my extensions refitted. But yeah, everything that I have used in this video, you can win. Um, it's gonna be, the competition's gonna be over on my TikTok, so you just have to be following me on TikTok, Ingla on TikTok, me on my Instagram, me on my YouTube, Inglot on YouTube and Inglot's Instagram as well. So I'll leave all those handles below. Um, yeah, I pretty much think that's it. Um, thank you so much for watching. I know this is a little bit all over the place because the camera situation, but I'm just not gonna dwell on it. It can be fixed, fine. Um, but yeah, I hope that you enjoyed. And if there's any other looks that you want me to do, obviously I'm gonna be doing some Halloween looks. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one.